Hey, what's up everybody? It's Scott, and today I'm going to be re doing a review on my SCA302 protein skimmer from SC Aquariums. First, I'd like to say that um, I'm not sponsored by SC Aquariums, and this is just my opinions on how this skimmer has performed for me over the four years that I owned it. Everyone knows in the hobby that we pretty much rate things on how they work, good or bad, over time. And this is my opinions on how this protein skimmer has performed. There may be a first and second part of this video, depending on how long it runs, uh, because first I'm going to have my review on it, and then there's going to be a, a cleaning section and also an upgrade section for my skimmer, because this is the original model and not what's available now. You can see that I've left it really dirty because I knew I was going to be doing a cleaning section on the video. So please forgive the way it looks right now. It'll get better. A few specs on the skimmer are, uh, it's rated for tanks up to 180 gallons. Uh, it comes with a extra large removable collection cup with a drain line for easy cleaning. The newer models have an air silencer. Uh, its footprint is 9 inches by 9.5 inches by 18 inches high. It has an adjustment uh, for six levels of water flow, which is right here. The pump is an Atman 2400 liter an hour or 634 gallon an hour, 110 volt pump. It's the Atman PH2000 with a needle impeller. It's recommended that the break-in period for this skimmer is two to five days and its proper working level is six inches to the water line. Now, when I first purchased the skimmer, uh, I was looking at a lot of videos and doing a lot of reading on reviews and came across this and at the price it was at the time it fit well within my budget and made it really super attractive to me um, once I purchased it the construction impressed me it's acrylic with heavy-duty plastic and it's a pretty rugged skimmer the only problem I've had I had with it was right here in the collection area there is a plastic tip that connects the hose and one day while I was cleaning it and I, t I turned it and that tip snapped off I was pretty much freaking out at that time so I contacted the company and they sent me two of them free of charge because that original one broke which really impressed me about how the company cares about the people that buy their products um, I've never had a problem besides that. It pulls out a bunch of gunk and except for the occasional overflow that happens because of something that I do <laughs> or on water change day, I have really nothing bad to say about the skimmer. It's well worth the investment, especially for people that may be on a budget. I believe the price currently is $174 on sale, which you can't beat. It qualifies for free shipping and um, you get it within like two to three days after you purchase it um, that may vary but that's as I remember that's how much um, it how long it took me and like I said you can see by the dirt of the cup it does pull a lot of skin made out um, the dirt in the neck Again, after I do a water change, I drop the level because usually after I add the new water, my skimmer will start going crazy. And after a while, if it's sitting like that, that's where that came from. But uh, that'll be covered in part two of the video. As far as anything that I have that could be a con to this skimmer is right here on the adjustment, there's this little impression right here now I actually took a marker and made that black some people have used you know nail polish or acrylic paint to make that more visible because other than that on the older model at least 
it's just a blue indent, a blue dimple. So it was a little hard to read for me. So I just took a Sharpie and just made that black. Um, this has been running on my systems for four years, like I said. It started in my 50 gallon, and now it's running on my 90. And like I said, when I purchased it, I wanted to have something that would grow with me, and I wouldn't have to purchase a new skimmer when I went up in tanks. And this, for the price, did the trick. Uh, so, as far as the company's customer service is concerned, like I stated earlier, it really impressed me when I had the one issue. I contacted them prior to making this video just to see if there was any uh, speaking points they wanted me to cover. And um, through talking to them and letting them know that my model was the older one, um, they sent me the upgrade for this one, which I'll get into on the next video. So, the video right now is about 6 minutes and 10 seconds, so I'm going to cut it here, and we'll get on to the cleaning portion of this, and also the upgrade on part 2. So, again, if you need to check out SCA's website and their Facebook page, I'll link it down below. And um, that's about it. If you like the video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, who needs a TV when you own a reef tank?